6.5 tons isn't much weight at all in the Earth's orbit. But once it free falls back to Earth, every kilo counts, especially as the weight includes thousands of living organisms. They call it Noll's Ark in space. Photon M3 spent 12 days in orbit. 26 different experiments were conducted on samples ranging from various bacteria and bone cells to fish and hamsters. A team of over 50 scientists and search specialists have gathered in the northern Kazakhstan town of Kustanay to chase the satellite with a precious cargo. They came from as far as Canada and as close as Samara and brought all they can possibly need for extracting their samples. With special equipment and containers loaded, five helicopters took off in the direction of Photon's expected landing. Everything is ready. See you at the landing site. The flight coordinator is optimistic, but chasing down a free fall from space can take hours and even days. Okay, now we reached the point where we're just going to wait and hover until we get a signal from Photon. But the margin of error for the landing location is 180 kilometers in any direction of the expected site. So it could land anywhere in the field, a waterway or even a residential area. Luckily, we didn't have to wait very long. The signal came in on schedule and the pilot confirmed Photon's location. 2 p.m. sharp, local time. The capsule landed with a two kilometer deviation. A spherical capsule went through several layers of atmosphere on its way into orbit and back through extreme temperatures and solar radiation. First to approach it were scientists from the European Space Agency, who placed a porous stone with living moss on the outside the capsule two weeks ago. The scientists are now working to remove the stone for analysis and if they find out the moss survived, they may be able to confirm a sensational theory that meteorites that land on Earth from outer space could as well carry life from other planets. The scientists say they may need a few weeks to get the results. But it was the hamsters everyone was curious about. Russian scientists sent 12 of them into orbit to test their ability to survive in space without water. They were all acting very lively. They all survived. The Germans sent newborn baby fish into space all seem to have come back safe and sound. With the capsule dismantled, the samples are packed and ready to be spread around the globe for further research. The mice, the fish, the butterflies, the slugs and snakes. All species will be killed for further tests. Let's think about tomorrow when we'll be colonizing other planets together with the Earth's animals. So now we have to make this unattractive sacrifice for humanity's and the animals' own good. On the bright side of it, they may very well be the most traveled hamsters in the universe. Anastasia Khaidulina, Russia Today, Kustanay, Kazakhstan.